what is circular motion if a body moves in a circle it is termed as circular motion uniform circular motion if a body is moving with constant speed it is said to be uniform circular motion let's suppose the body is moving in a circle it's a circle and the body is moving in a circle with constant speed its speed is constant i mean v is constant and its velocity is variable at this point its velocity can be found by drawing a tangent line a tangent line is that line which is making an angle 90 degree with the radius so this one is the at this point its velocity is direction is like that at this point its velocity is just like that i mean by drawing a tangent line we can find out the direction of a body at that particular point so velocity is here so the body is moving with variable velocity velocity is changing but its speed is constant it is said to be uniform circular motion i mean the motion of a fan is a uniform circular motion and we are looking for the v i mean the speed v is equal to s by t and in one revolution the distance covered by body is equal to circumference of the circle i mean 2 pi r divided by t so it is equal to v so that is the speed of the that is the speed of the body so i mean v is equal to 2 pi r over so that is the speed of a body moving in a circle in one revolution in one revolution t is the time period so that is the time period here t is the time period and the other question is if a body is moving in a circle can a body have an acceleration so definitely it must have the acceleration because the velocity is changing so it must have the acceleration and that acceleration is always directed towards its center it is a centripetal acceleration i mean central center seeking acceleration so that is the centripetal acceleration and its direction is towards the center of the circle and now what do you mean by centripetal force centripetal force you must know centripetal force is the force needed to move a body in a circle it is named as centripetal force and centripetal force is not a separate force it is due to some another force let's suppose i mean uh, in different cases the centripetal force is different its origin is different as the earth is revolving around the sun in this case the centripetal force is provided by force of gravity so that is the first example the earth is revolving around the sun in this case the centripetal force is provided by force of gravity as the electron is revolving around the nucleus in this case the centripetal force is provided by electrostatic force or electro or electric force or coulomb's force and the third one let's suppose we have this thing and it's a stone is tied at its one end and wiggle it its motion is circular in this case the centripetal force is provided by tension force and the centripetal force is equal to mv square over r and we all know the centripetal force is a separate force it is due it's not a separate force it is due to some other force in the first case the centripetal force its origin is gravitation force the other one is electric force and the third one in the third case the tension force providing us necessary centripetal force those ones that's about the centripetal force thank you for watching